What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome to South Florida, y'all. Look at this right here. Nuisance alligator hunter. We got Mr. Chris Dunce, you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got Crystal Beachy, Jake Arrington, and Crystal's cousin Jay. He's never done any of this, and this trip is all about Jay. We're gonna see if he can't get his first alligator. Hopefully, we're, yeah. yeah. We're in a rural neighborhood right here. You can see the horse arena. And these people had an alligator come up in the backyard and we're here to try to help them. Actually attack one of the horses. It attacked a horse? It attacked a horse. Y'all, that horse over there is like $100,000. This gator's got to go. Jake, it's winter time in Florida and you're barefoot, son. It's getting warmer. Y'all know it's starting to warm up if Crystal's in shorts. So right now, Chris has a call in his hand. He's gonna ease up here and put it on the bank and turn it on. And if there's a gator here, he's gonna come. But today's not just about alligators. We're gonna shoot iguanas, we're gonna catch peacock bass, we're gonna try to catch snakeheads. And we've already been to Lightsey's family ranch and Jay killed his first hog and I'll show you that in just a little while. So Chris has binoculars. This pond goes a long ways. There's a culvert right there. You can see their horses. That's where the gator came up and tried to catch them. He could come down through that culvert. He could be hiding anywhere in here, all up under that tree. There's a giant iguana right there in the tree. A lot of these people that have these neighborhoods, they have nice plants in their yard and the iguanas eat them all, so they want you to shoot the iguanas too. It's a win-win for us, folks. It's not a win-win for the iguanas. All right, spot number two. The gators aren't cooperating yet. It's still super early. It's a little bit chilly, but we're gonna go catch peacocks now and then once it warms up, hopefully the wind should lay down later. We're gonna go after alligators. Right now we are at the holy grail of holy grail peacock spots and we're hoping that the cold doesn't affect them too. Are you double fisting it or what? Double fisting, we got an NOVN three inch on this one and a live bait hook on this one. Beachy, what are you going with? Huh? I ain't telling you. What you going with? Minners. Minners, that's right, Minners. You ain't bringing a rod? Oh, you know, I was just gonna let you guys fish. You can share with me, I got a whopper popper for snakeheads. me? Yeah, come on, oh let's go. Oh my goodness. Me and Chris are boys like that, so I have a whopper popper. There's another species down here called a snakehead, and to me, it's my favorite fish in the world. It's amazing to eat, and even more amazing to catch. You know you're in Florida when there's signs posted like that. Jake, we ain't even ready to start fishing yet, and you're done ripping lips on the NLBN. That's a good one. Look at the big turtle right here, though. Oh. I caught the biggest one. You know it's cold when turtles don't very, don't move very much. Show them right there in the light. Look at them. Hello, little guy. I just I, I've been staring at him for 20 minutes. I had to catch you. That was a hard catch, in case y'all were wondering. It's not even moving. Jake said he's not even moving. No duh, Jake. So Crystal and Jay are putting some minners on, like Jay likes to call them. Right through the lip, barely through the lips. There you go, perfect, right there. Oh, that water's cold. Oh man, that was a big one. Go get them, Jay. Thanks. It's what we call live shiners. Yeah, he got him. He got him hooked, too. How do you hook a gar? A gar is the hardest thing in the world to hook. Uh, Swing him on up here. Uh-oh. Double up, double up. Double Large up. mouth. You can kick him back in the water, unless you want some gar balls. Nah. That was fun. Nice, pretty little fish. Uh-oh. Missed him. Got him. Well, unfortunately, this cold front is stopping all the exotic fish that we came down here to catch and we're just catching large mouse. I mean, it's a fish. It's just not a targeted fish. Peacocks don't like wind and they don't like cold. It is warming up, but I don't think this wind's gonna die down. We're gonna go shoot iguanas next and look for a couple more alligators. And then as the day goes on, these all these exotics should just come alive. Throw in a Yozuri jerk bait. You can catch anything on them. Look, they got one over there. He spotted one. One has been spotted. 
A peacock? Big peacock. Big peacock. See if he'll eat. Let's go over there and then we'll come back to this spot. I like this spot because there's no wind. So let's take it back to Lightsey's family ranch yesterday. Crystal and I and Jake loaded Jay up and we drove out to the ranch just north of Okeechobee and we did a spot and stalk hunt. All right, what was better, that or your hog? I think this was. You like that better like than the hog? Better. Look at that beautiful peacock. What do you got to say to your brothers back home that didn't want to come? It's better off I came, not them. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one, that Jason. Good. Dang! Hey, I don't know all y'all's names, but all Jay's brothers are missing out. We're putting him on the meat. Let me lip him for you. Bring him on over here. This is a big one. Big old female. I will in just a second. Peacocks have the most violent head shake you could ever imagine. Oh, that's a pretty fish there. See if you can hold him without dropping him. Oh, look how pretty that is. All right, awesome. turn him loose. Nice, beautiful fish. It don't get no better, South Florida. We have every kind of fish you could imagine. Crystal and I took him on the boat the other night. The first day he got here, he caught moonfish, a snook, a sail cat, crappie, a largemouth bass, peacocks, killed a hog, and he's about to go shoot some iguanas and hopefully catch an alligator. So the rumor has it y'all went goose hunting the last time you were up there. We went goose hunting and we laid the smack down on some geese. Now, were those guys real sensitive on you? No. Cousins, blast, are, cousins are supposed to be nice to you. We had an absolute blast. I was the only girl in the blind. And the blind, because I don't know if you saw him, but he's a big boy. And all the rest are big boys. The blind's like up here and I'm way down here shooting on my tippy toes, a giant 12 gauge. <laughs> it was fun. We had a blast. So Crystal just went up there a couple weeks ago. They live in Delaware. What part of Delaware? Middle of the state. Middle of the state, Delaware. He doesn't want to give away his exact location in case there's any crazy women out there that are hunting him down but right in the middle of delaware is where he's at so chris just reminded me of something that i completely forgot about the ultimate oh. iguana kill babe you know which one i'm talking about the ultimate iguana kill uh... has something to do with the oh. holy spirit yes so. <laughs> y'all we're gonna take it back to a couple weeks ago i was actually sick i had the flu or something I didn't feel like filming. I wasn't in the mood, but we did film and we got some insanely good footage. But first, look at the gar he's got. Oh, that was a big one. All right, let's take it back to my last iguana hunt with Mr. Chris. We let it rip and I kill one in the ultimate location. Smoked him. <laughs> On the cross. That was absolutely nuts. Him. Yeah, he's pretty. Have to mount him or make some boots or... I think you need to mount that one. All right, Crystal, I got you the mother load right here. Wait for me. <laughs> Pitch it down right there, about ten feet out past that grass. I gotta hook him. I got a big, juicy shiner too. So a lot of times, if you're peacock fishing, you can throw one of these jerk baits, fire them up, 
right, and then they'll cross the shiner just Gordon? halfway to those ducks. Here? Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. You better hang on to your britches. Drop your rod tip right there. Oh, already got him. Go out there in the grass. <laughs> I'm probably gonna sneak to my knee. Oh my goodness. That's a big one. It's a peacock. Big old oh, big. Look at the other peacock. peacock with him. They're schooling, they're schooling. I'm gonna, oh. I just, look what I just did. They're literally schooling like dolphin out there. I know, and I dropped my lure right here in this bush. Right there, Jake. I'll take that. Get him, Jake. Jerk it. Got him, Jake. Go, go, Jake. Oh, you oh, oh, let go. Pitch it back out there quick. They're literally schooling like dolphin. Look at this mess I just created, folks. Beautiful. Are you hooked up again? Oh, five in a row or four in a row. Chris, double up right now. Double up. I'm counting on you. Oh, I missed him. No, get him. Jason, that is a stud. Wow. That is a giant. Nice, Jason. Hey, I had to go get bait. You missed five fish. You missed five. These NLBNs right here are going to get crushed. Let me tell y'all something. Being a cameraman is hard Gabriel work. Trumpet. Look at that bad boy right there. Y'all check this out. I seen these. I haven't had these in forever. A Kool-Aid Junior? Let me tell y'all a little bit about that right there. Those things are so Now, Crystal good. said she wasn't. That, that pretzel disappeared. <laughs> Crystal said, no, I'm not hungry. I guarantee y'all this truck, she eats half of that pretzel. She, you want half of this, though? It smells good. What is that, steak and cheese? Mm-hmm. That's a big old bite, boy. <laughs> Listen, folks. Blue Gabe is a snack-eating man. You know what I just found in my door, though? The right color, the color I needed. Oh no. <laughs> We're only halfway through, folks. We still got a lot more to go. Well, I have the right size jig heads. <laughs> Jake, let me tell y'all at home. We probably have ten thousand dollars worth of NLBNs at home, and about two dollars worth of them in this truck. What? How does that even happen? It's not my truck. Cristal. It ain't my fault. I know you've hijacked half of them. <laughs> no. I have a few. I have one or two in my boat. Crystal, <laughs> straight face tell me you ain't got none of them NLBNs. Um. <laughs> I got one or two in my boat. I got one or two in my tackle bag. Yeah. All right, Chris has got the binoculars out and he's looking for a big gator. We just obviously grabbed some snacks. So we're going to go meet back up with him now. I thought you weren't hungry. I'm trying to start my diet today. <laughs> I haven't started yet. I had to get a cream cheese pretzel. This is my favorite thing ever. Can we go hunting now? Yep. Yep. Let's go get a game. Let's go. Take your time and shoot him right in the head. Rest it on the window. Crystal zoomed in on him. Ready? Yeah. Got him. Shoot that one on the far canal bank, right over there. He's Got him. Oh. oh. Oh, where'd he go? Oh. Oh, he's right there. We got him. We got him. Golly! Oh my God! Y'all, we saw him from the side of the road. Chris and them kept going. We had to slam on brakes. We're gonna come back over there and get the one on the other side. We just found a dinosaur in a neighborhood where Chris has a permit. This gator has been eating people's dogs and all kinds of stuff. I'm on one side of the road. Oh no, he just eased into the water. So the gator was on the bank a minute ago. He just eased into the water now. Chris is gonna come down the canal bank and try to get a hook on this alligator. Look at the iguana right next to him on this side of the bank though. Big old huge orange one, look at that. 
he's tempting me. But you can see the gator's in the water by about a foot and a half. Chris is gonna come down. It's gonna take him a little bit to get here. Hopefully he can get a hook in him. Oh no, the iguana is gonna mess us up. No! We might have just blew our opportunity. There's a culvert right here that he could easily go into. Look at that big iguana still right here. Oh, he's got it. Oh, Crystal got him. And she's on him. He's going straight to the culvert pipe. Oh no! Point your rod tip down! He's going that way. Oh, this ain't good. No! Lost him. Gator smoked her into that culvert right there. Jay. I think he broke it on the inside. He, it's something, Jay. He's, he's hung up on yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. You were right. He was sitting right there in the middle. You were right. I thought he moved. This is yeah. was, was the there was though. steady bubbles coming up there. That's why I kept saying it. Got him that time. He's trying to scratch it off. I got him. Look at look at the rod. If I get him down in the water, I'll have him. Oh, I just stepped on a sand spur. This iguana's acting sick. Whoa. You guys, he's pulling me down the canal that the gator was in. Oh yeah, we got him. This is hard to do, landing him though, by myself. Let me see. Oh yeah. Got me a live one, boys and girls. Biggin. Y'all didn't think I had it in me. Got me a big old live one in the same canal that they just hooked a monster gator in. Oh! I just threw the camera. <laughs> you know what? I feel bad for him. I done caught him. Now he can live to fight another day. See you, buddy. Smoked him. I mean, smoked him. All right, victim number two is acquired. Go ahead. So, I mean, smoked him. Victim number three.
I mean to tell you, you're three for three. Knocking them out. Y'all want to see how many iguanas there are? Look right here. You got him, babe. Go for it. Get him. Grab him by Scoop him up. Scoop him up. Oh, I hope they're watching. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's freaking. Oh, bless his heart. Well, somebody made us late for a gator catch. Crystal says, I'm not hungry, but can we stop and get McDonald's, please? Chris, right now, is right around the bend and he's got a big gator on. He said, if we don't hurry, he's going to lose it. Yep, there he is. Watch that big old attack, dog. Yeah, dog. I took a picture of it. It was here at the mouth. I, the mouth it tried mouth. to get your dog? I don't know. I mean, it's right there. I don't know. All right, we're going to go get him. All right, thank you. Come on. <laughs> Where do you think he's at right now? He's good ways out there. I'm going to work him in. I don't want to move him until y'all got here. It's cold. It's got cold out here. <laughs> Jay, come here. Hang me in the pool. Good? I'm going to try to pull him in. He's going to use them. Just nice and steady, pull the fish. Pull it here. Don't let it bend, whatever you do. Or don't let it unbend. Go. He's right out there. Keep pulling him. He's what? He's just nice and steady. Just stay right there. Bump the wheel. Got him that time. Keep hiking. He's rolling? Yeah. His head's in the front. He's right behind you. Man. I see him. Come on. Grab the other rod too, Jake, if you can. Oh, geez, <laughs> I thought he'd behave like that, huh? You thought <laughs> he was? <laughs> oh, like oh, he yeah. was falling from the tree. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Jake's yeah. arrived with the tape. You don't have armadillos, do you? No, ma'am. Iguanas. <laughs> well, you do. I have two living on my roof. <laughs> <laughs> Gators can close their mouth with the most crazy power ever, but they can't open their mouth with much power. All right, that's good. Break it off right there. Nice job, guys. Give me some nugs. Give me some nugs. Give me some nugs. Give me some nugs. And the security guy, give me some nugs. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Can't grab this fire right there. Oh yeah. Stand up. Oh yeah. Here, hold. There you oh go, God. just like that. Oh yeah. Toting to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> go get it. <laughs> what about it, Jason? You are officially a Florida boy. Yep. <laughs> that gator don't know what just happened to him. <laughs> 
Is it heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. Hey, what do you got to say about to your brothers? <laughs> I got a gator, boys. <laughs> Y'all missed out. That's what you got to say. Oh, boy. That gator's paws are like spread out. He's like, what in the world? I've never flown get before. Get me in the neck over here on this one. That's oh, good. really? Yeah. You need me to get it? Is he scratching yeah, you? Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of pressure. All right, that's better. There we go. Now we can. <laughs> Jay's gonna be a foot shorter here in a little bit. His whole spine's gonna be compressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I wish I didn't get the hookup on camera. Uh -huh. It's alright. Y'all don't even understand the hookup. How it? The most epic. He was on the edge of the grass, cruising the edge of the grass, and I just lost it. She wants a picture. It's kind of heavy, hurry up! The best! The best! The best! Oh my god! I, I, Susan, I gotta call you back. Let me call you right back. Bye. Thank you. Oh, wait, you didn't get. Wait. It's like a whole team. I feel badly. Yep. You know what? Listen, I love Alabama. Don't feel bad. He's gonna go to a farm and live his life. Oh, up. good. So yeah. I want him to be happy. Yeah. I just didn't want to eat somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, or your dog. No, no. <laughs> I like him, but not that much. Oh, uh, yeah, You're be kind to him. Hitting, I feel bad for her. Oh, my God. No, you guys he's are good. like real men. You're like, he's like James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Jason, I'm so glad we brought you. Yep. We almost did come to this thing. I, I was like, a... do you need me to back Gabe's truck up? Four. Or Three we got plenty of room. Can we turn and drop him in here really quick? I got him. Yeah. He looks pretty tarred. Yeah. I got him. Let me go. Oh, oh. Nice. Come come here, kids. Y'all want to see it? Yeah, let's go see. Come on. Can you come right here. You got the thing out there? I'm going to go get him. Where do you guys put him? Uh, he's gonna go to a licensed farm. Oh, More than likely, end up being Gator Tacos. Oh, mad! No, he'll go get transplanted somewhere else. Y'all, but can you smell it? Grilled iguana and some grilled chicken. I took some of it off earlier just because it was done. Oh, of course, it, I run out of pellets right now. I took some of the chicken off earlier because it was done. These thighs actually have bone in, so actually that one's done. Those three will cook for another couple minutes. Folks at home, folks at home, your very first grilled iguana. Supper's ready. Yours too, huh, babe? Yep. Look at it. Looks like a frog leg. Now, earlier, this is the leg. You can see me chop the foot off. I couldn't leave the foot on the grill, and I didn't want to show cleaning it, but you can see I clearly cut the foot off. This is the tail section right here and right here. All I did was put some Lowry's garlic salt and some Ken Cooker Creole. There it is. Is that a front leg or a back leg? This is the back leg and this is the front leg. And this piece and this piece all makes up the tail? Yep. Which one do you think is gonna be the best part? You'll have to be the judge. Before we get to eating you guys, I gotta give a huge shout out to Dragon Master. I am infested with catfishing and all this stuff you see right here Hopefully he's gonna help me catch a giant. I'm not gonna explain all of it and what all it is until the next video when me and you go catfishing. And Crystal, come here babe, show us your plants. They're gonna start growing vegetables in the house if you don't replant those things. Update on my children. They're getting big, they're like teenagers they're, now. Um, didn't get these genetics from me, but they're really tall. So we're probably gonna plant these tomorrow. Yeah. I know the food smells good. Are you ready yeah. to eat? Yeah, I'm getting it. Come on. here. Come over here and try you some iguana. Pull your piece off that tail and tell us what you think. Crystal's super excited. Tastes like chicken? There's not much difference. It tastes just like chicken. Now, did, when you came to Florida to visit your cousin, you didn't really know you were going to hang out with me, and you definitely didn't know you were going to eat iguana, did you? Nope. 
There's nothing wrong with these. Did we put you on a good trip? Yeah, it was he awesome. Says it's fit. Let's, awesome. let's run over to what we started. So we started with snook, moonfish, crappie bass, peacock bass, iguana, an alligator. A hog. A hog. Oh, we can't forget the That's hog. That's like a yeah. Florida Grand Slam. Jake, Mom try the saying. iguana right here. Just There's nothing wrong. It's, it's Babe, try that big old tenderloin right there. Try some of this right here. Crystal always gives me crap because I don't try things. Look at that. <laughs> Look at I mean, it's good. It tastes exactly like chicken. I mean, it's got just a tad different, but it's close. I mean, it's, it's good edible meat. Now, literally all we did was clean this thing and throw it on the grill. If you wanted to make it tender, you could cook it like this, then put it in some cream and mushroom or in a sauce and boil it down and like just make a soup out of it. He's trying to leg. Now that will be a little bit different, but not bad. No, it's not bad. It's just a little, little more gamey taste. Yeah, because that. that's the dark meat. Yeah. The chicken you already know is going to be good. That's it, folks. That's been long enough. Y'all got to ride with us and do everything we did today. And I'm very appreciative that y'all stuck around. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Huge shout out to Jay. He's headed back to Delaware tomorrow. But like Jake always says, we're getting out of shape.